Hello, this is your video for writing for Wednesday, September 9th. And we're just gonna take a look at our examples together. And then you will be doing the race writing on your own. So let's take a look at our first example, which is our not so great example. <clears throat> Okay, so remember that in our race writing strategy, we are doing the R, A, C, and E, and we have gone through all those steps now. So let's remind ourselves, what does the R stand for? That's right, it stands for restate the question. So we use the words in the question to make a statement. Then our next letter is A. A stands for what? That's right, answering the question. We need to be sure that we are answering the question that was asked, not talking about something else. And then C, this is the tricky one because it doesn't sound like it starts with a C. Right, cite evidence. So we're gonna look for evidence in our text by using things like saying the text says, the author says. And then finally, E is our explanation, where we're going to explain our answer and add a few more details. So let's take a look at this sample from recess and see what this person is missing. All right, let's read it together. It was recess time. Dan couldn't wait to kick his soccer ball. He grabbed his jacket and ball and went outside. His friends were ready to play too. They got into teams and started a game. Dan was having a fun time when he looked up and saw that a boy was standing by himself and watching the game. Dan stopped playing, ran over to him and asked if he wanted to play too. The boy got a big smile on his face, nodded his head and joined the game. And our question is, what is a word you would use to describe Dan? So let's see how this person did. A word I would use to describe Dan is fun. Okay, let's see, did we get our R? Did he, did, did they restate the question? Yes, what is a word you would use? A word I would use to describe Dan is, did they answer the question? They said fun. Mm, I'm not sure that's really the best word they could use. So their answer could use a little work. Text says that he had a fun time playing soccer. This means that if you want to have fun, you could go play soccer. All right, so I think our answer is the root of our problem. I think that there could be a better answer. What do you think? I think we might use other words to describe Dan. They did do their best to put some text evidence in but it's really not evidence of the best description. And they did give some explanation. So they did pretty well, except for they didn't quite answer the question being asked. So let's go ahead and look at a better answer and see if they fix those problems. Whoa, too big. Okay, so this is our same story. We're not gonna read it again. What is a word you would use to describe Dan? A word I would use to describe Dan is caring. Okay, did they restate the question? Yes. Is this a better answer? I think caring is a better answer. And let's see what their text evidence is. The text says that when he saw a boy standing by himself at recess, he asked the boy if he wanted to join the soccer game. This means that he was thinking about someone else's feelings, which is very caring of him. The boy looked lonely and Dan cared about that. So I think this is a much better answer. We have some good text evidence, and then we have a good explanation where it says this means that he was thinking about someone else's feelings, which is very caring of him. The boy looked lonely and Dan cared about that. So this is an excellent example of using all four steps of the RACE race writing strategy. <clears throat> now let's take a look at 
your assignment for today, which is to read Sally Plays Softball and then answer the question, how did Sally get better at softball? Okay, so you're going to read this. You can have someone read it with you if you'd like. And then you are going to be sure that you are restating the question, answering the question that is asked, citing some text evidence, and then explaining why your answer is the answer it is and giving a few more details. All right, so that's your writing assignment for today. You guys are getting good at this writing strategy. This is a good strategy to use on your weekly assessments when you are answering number 11, where you're writing a paragraph and answering a question. So we will practice that a little bit also. And I will see you later. Have an awesome day.